So I've been doing these videos quite a while and I don't often take the time out to actually talk to you about where I discovered originally the blues. I must have been around 10 years old, I just started playing guitar and you know outside of listening to the radio, listen to what your friends listen to, all this kind of general pop music, I discovered my mother's record collection and it was full of Pink Floyd, Thin Lizzy, uh, Led Zeppelin, T-Rex, all this really cool music. I used to spend most of my Saturdays at my auntie's listening to her records and making cassette tapes. And it was uh, a lot of Motown, R&B, like original R&B, you know, uh, Curtis Mayfield. But when I delved into my mother's records, they seemed a lot more mysterious. And I started hearing a lot more guitar. Now, my mother's boyfriend at the time gave me my first acoustic guitar. It was his, and he just used to sit around on a Friday or Saturday night playing these wonderful songs. And, you know, I used to it was in the corner and I used to touch it and one night he said to me if you promise to practice you can have that guitar and I was just like wow no one had ever given me anything like that before and I was just totally blown away by it and you know I just took it away and I just immersed myself in guitar music and one of the first things that I remember from my childhood was like a, a beer advert and I didn't know at the time, but it was Eric Clapton playing a J.J. Kale song after midnight. And that was my first introduction to Eric Clapton. And when I asked my mother, she was like, oh, that's the guy that plays Layla. This song that I was very aware of. And I was just like, wow, that was the most amazing guitar playing. So back in the day, we had a VHS player and I used to record commercials just in the hope of catching the Eric Clapton commercial, the, the Eric Clapton beer commercial, so I could work out the music. So I used to sit in front of the VHS tape, rewind, play, kind of work out, record it onto my cassette player, and play it back and play it back and work it out. Now, in the late 80s and early 90s, there were a lot of like really popular commercials for Coca-Cola, Budweiser, Levi's, Lee Jeans, and, and many, many others. And all of them featured really, really cool music, some of which I had never heard before. This one ad in particular, I remember it started like this. And I was like, what the heck tuning is that? Because I knew, I knew I was in standard tuning-ish, you know, I used to guess, but he was, he was going down. It's like to D. What's going on there? And then I saw this thing on the guitar player's finger. And I was introduced to slide guitar and it's the very first time I'd heard slide guitar and it took me so long to work out that tuning. I had to go out and find some books and stuff like that. But these adverts had a massive impact in not only my listening into what kind of bands I was listening to, but into the kind of stuff I was playing and the kind of stuff that I wanted to play.
It's been so long since I've played that and that's completely off the cuff, I promise you. And um, it's, it's just stuck, it's one of those things. So whenever I play open D and bring out the slide, everything I learned was from that Budweiser advert. And people used to say it was John Lee Hooker. I don't think it was John Lee Hooker because John Lee Hooker used to advertise Lee Jeans and that was the whole Boom Boom song, you know. I distinctively remember a Coca-Cola ad where a kid goes into a bar, he's looking to join a band or something and uh, whatever, they're looking really cool and they all look like John Mayer or something. And uh, he kind of drinks the bottle of Coke and starts playing with the Coke bottle. Well straight away you know myself and my friends we were down the shop looking for those retro bottles just so we could you know have a go at playing yeah so these days i'm playing with a slide but yeah I'm, i don't know what happened to that bottle so I just thought I'd share with you guys how to play the Budweiser slide guitar. Some of you will remember it and be nostalgic about it like me and be like, yeah, cool, I've always wanted to learn that. And some of you might not know it at all, but be really cool to just to learn some slide guitar, right? And it's really simple and straightforward. So let's zoom in and have a closer look. By the way, if you were wondering what song I was playing at the beginning, Just one of my own, something I've been messing around with for years. Open D tuning, pretty straightforward, just some finger picking. But if you'd like a tutorial on it, let me know in the comments box below. Okay, so first things first, we need, uh, this is my glass slide. Actually, I use a few different slides. They're not really expensive, but um, they've all got different tones, so this is obviously steel. And one of my favourites is actually the brass, but this one I used to wear on my... I used to wear this on my third finger, and I've got another one somewhere, but I've still got stuff in boxes everywhere. So this, I'd prefer to use the brass but it's really uncomfortable on my pinky like so i could stuff some paper down there or whatever but so for this lesson i've picked the glass one now the glass one does in my opinion sound much nicer my problem is i probably need a higher gauge string um, to make it sound nice on the on the top e string so I'll leave that up to you guys. This is completely your preference. Buy a few different ones, try a few things out if you're new to this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just break this down into a few simple sections. So the first section, let's talk about the tuning. Open D, so the first thing you wanna do is double drop D. So I've just dropped my bottom E down to D as a reference and my top E down to D. Now the next thing I do is the, the B to the A. So I'm using the A as a reference and tuning down the B string. And then what I do, I find F sharp. So I know F sharp is the fourth fret on the D string. And then I tune the G to F sharp. And there we have open. D, so that might take you a while to get used to, okay? But once you're there, you can do it really quickly. So section one. So let's do that nice and slowly. I'm starting off on the B string, ha uh, hammer on, third fret, then open E. Now with the slide, you always want to play over the fret. The slide becomes the fret. And like I said, it's a bit more difficult when you've got thin gauge strings and a low action as well isn't going to help in this case. So you just have to be really delicate. I'm not always that delicate, so don't worry as you're, as you're you know, getting better at this stuff. And then third fret, 
to fifth fret, back to third fret. Then I'm doing a little curl back on the B string. I'm playing open E. Then I'm going over to G string, first fret to third fret, hammer on pull off, third fret on the D string, little curl, use another finger if you have to, open D, bottom E, top E or bottom D, top D. Then I'm going up to the 10th fret and just covering the top three or four strings. And sliding up to 12. So nice and slowly. Next bit's really easy. So that's the fun bit, right? So now I'm playing the A, D, and G. Slide in uh, three to five, and then open, so open three to five, and then two to three, okay? So let me do that nice and slow. Straight up onto the B string. I'm going up to 12, and pulling back to 11. 12 on the D string, sorry, 12 on the G string, then 12 on the D. Now you heard, heard me hit two strings there, that doesn't matter if you're not terribly accurate. Sometimes it sounds really good. Repeat the same thing. This time, you're gonna go up to the 12th fret, then you're gonna, on the B string, then you're gonna go to 10 on the top E. And you're gonna do the same thing, so you're gonna go 12 on the B, 10 on the top E, pull back 12 to 11 on the B, 12 and 12 on the G and B, and then top E. So if I do that slowly. Then I'm just sliding down, like on the middle strings or something. So the D, G and B. And sliding back up from two to like five. Two to five. Then on the top E, five to seven, back to five, three, open. B string, two to three, and then top E again put a bottom E on the end. Then we've got this. So all that's happening there is I'm sliding on the G string, first fret to third fret, then playing that B string back down third to first on the G. And then I'm hitting the D string and kind of come in two to three, playing an open. So if I do that slowly. And then top E and B. So 
So the next section, I'm just playing the D, G, and B. Five, six, seven. Then I'm going, what's that, nine. And then I'm doing a, a seven and an open. I think originally I would have just pulled off and an open. And then a quick six five. Same strings again. And then finally. So all I'm doing there is slide in up to 12, pull back like 13 to 11 on the D string, back to 12, sorry, on the G string and the D string. So like we were doing at the beginning. And then bottom E. And that's 10, 11, 12. And with that last bit on the slide, I'm just playing the top three strings, okay? So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. A little bit different, I know. I hope you liked it. Let me know it in the comments box below. And please remember, I don't get paid for these lessons due to copyright but I've set up a PayPal donation button over on my website. Any loose change is massively appreciated. And please remember, I've got some merchandise for sale over there as well. And don't forget, you can hit me up over on Instagram if you'd like to send me a message or any requests. I love to hear from you guys. I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.